Did you know that beer is claimed to prevent cardiac disease and cognitive decline? Maybe that's why the average American consumes 87 liters of beer each year. The Greek philosopher Plato once said, He was a wise man who invented beer. Before we go into a brief history of beer, let's go over some beer basics. Beer is a beverage that is made with malted cereal grains, hops, and water that is fermented by adding yeast. During fermentation, wort is created from raw material which is converted to beer by yeast. By the way, wort is the liquid extracted from the mashing process during the brewing of beer. Okay, we are now at a good place to learn a brief history of beer. We actually have to go all the way back to ancient history. Beer is first thought to have been brewed in Sumer, the southernmost region of ancient Mesopotamia, which is the modern day Iraq and Kuwait. Mesopotamia is considered the beginning of civilization. The word Mesopotamia comes from the Greek word meaning land between rivers. The rivers are the Tigris and Euphrates. Well, let's go back in further. In the beginning, all people were hunters and gatherers. But this was a difficult way to live. Over time, something better came along. Hunters and gatherers began planting, which led to farming that required permanent settlement. Evidence for harvesting of wild cereal grass dates to around 10,000 BC. So hunters and gatherers began settling down in one spot to farm their land. Crops like wheat, rice, barley, and maize were in abundance. Although no one is exactly sure how the process of beer making was discovered, it is believed that Sumerians may have stumbled upon the fermentation process and began brewing beer. Chemical tests of ancient pottery jars reveal that beer was produced as far back as about 7,000 years ago. Some historians believe that ancients doubled upon beer when a loaf of fresh baked bread, which contained yeast, fell into a bowl of wet cereal grains. The oldest evidence of beer can be traced back 6,000 years to ancient civilization Sumerian tablet depicting people drinking through straws from a bowl. The ancient Egyptians were the first to document the brewing process around 5000 BC. Beer was part of the daily diet of Egyptian pharaohs. These were documented on papyrus scrolls. The Greeks and Romans also brewed beer. Greeks learned how to brew, then they taught the Romans. But the Romans preferred wine and thought of beer as a barbarian drink. By 500 AD, the German folk were brewing a thin beer made from oats and sometimes honey. The year 800 AD is often given as the point in which brewing became an organized industry. It was this year that the first brewery on record was established near Munich, Germany. Modern beer is believed to have been born in the Middle Ages. In the past, brewers had been using malted barley as the main source of fermentable sugar, but then hops began to be used as the bittering and flavoring agent. Catholic monks were the preeminent brewers of the Middle Ages. Virtually every monastery had a brewery on site. Based on the level of bacteria in the water and lack of sanitary procedure in the Middle Ages, it turns out that beer may have actually been safer than drinking water. Beer arrived to the New World with the first European colonists. In fact, the first permanent structure in the United States is believed to have been a brewery. In 1810, New York and Philadelphia were brewing centers in America. Today, there are unlimited options when it comes to beer. There's stout, porter, ales, lagers, and wheat beers, just to name a few. Oh yeah, and one more thing. What is light beer anyway? Well, it's nothing more than the beer which is reduced in alcohol content or calories. Joseph L. Owades was the biochemist that is credited with inventing light beer. He developed the process to remove the starch from beer in 1967. This process basically reduced the carbs and calories from beer. Miller Brewing Company acquired the light beer process in 1970. Miller Light was introduced nationally in 1975. Today, the brewing industry is a global business consisting of several dominant multinational companies and many thousands of smaller producers ranging from brew pubs to regional breweries. More than 133 billion liters of beer are sold each year. Thank you for watching Project Happenings, A Brief History of Beer. Now go and pour yourself a cold one.